Hey guys, and welcome back to um, Clock Tower 2. Now, when we last left off, we'd at, actually quite a while ago now, to be fair, we got uh, to the scary monster cage, or this level. Uh, I've actually recorded about three episodes of this game. Is it nah, more like two, I'd say. That's... Yeah, two episodes of this level. Um, and they haven't come out right, because the emulator starts skipping. And um, because the emulator is skipping, it garbles everything up. But I don't know what the problem was. Um, I don't know whether it was my PC, the game, or the emulator. But when it started skipping, my Stream Deck was doing weird stuff as well. So maybe it was the Stream Deck software uh, screwing everything up. But anyway, I've moved everything over to my SSD now. And we'll see if that helps. But... Um, so I've reloaded the game back to where we last left off, I think. It's been so long since I played this. So I th don't think you guys have missed anything. All we actually did in that video anyway was run around and uh, hide from monsters. So nothing's been missed. I've been so looking forward to getting back to this. I can't even, I can't even say that with a straight face. Yeah, I've been so looking forward to this. I've... Just recorded three episodes of Resident Evil 2 Remake Demo. Uh, now I'm back on this. I guess I just hate my life. Right, anyway, let's continue. I have kind of an ish rough idea what I'm doing now, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a little run around. I actually did look to see if there's a way that I could totally restart this level. But I don't think there is. So we're just going to walk around and see what happens. I think um, in the last video that you guys would have missed. Oh, actually, I think I've already missed something anyway. Yeah. Um, I Because th we did discover a couple of little things. And I think I found... A way of getting rid of the zombies, possibly. It needs, uh, it needs some testing, shall we say? But I think we're there. I've decided that I'm not gonna, probably not gonna bother getting all the endings, because they're all pretty rubbish. They're basically just glorified game over screens. But we are gonna aim for the best ending, if we can. Whether I don't know what's gonna happen first whether my patience for this game is going to run out or we will get the best ending. One of those two things will happen. Now, I already know that this is a failure run because something happened in the... Uh, can we even go in there? Something happened in the last video or in the first um, area we were in that set us up to failure. Something actually, that's a drawer key, we're not gonna use that to get in that door. Um, something has to happen there for us to be able to, to Are you win. you trying to escape? I may just be. Uh, what is it to you, mysterious voice? Can we, oh, okay. Okay, I guess we can't go down there. Yeah, I think the last time I actually sat down and played this, um, I might be wrong, but I think it was before Christmas. It's now the... 14th of January? Oh shit, son. Right, if I remember correctly. Hey, zombie. We need to go down here, I think. Need This needs testing. Copious amounts of testing. But if so, we have an infinite way of defeating these zombies. At least in this area, anyway. Um, 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 Come on. Do the thing with the thing. Make the thing do the thing. The thing is now doing the thing. This is excellent. But holy shit, guys. That Resident Evil 2 demo. Oh my god. I've played it three times. No, four times. So far. And... Oh, so much want. Right, what I'm looking for here, guys, is the toilets. I know that's an odd thing to say, but I'm looking for the toilets, and I can't remember where they were. So 
So I think before we get too far into this, we should find the toilet. Can we not? No. Because we have no way of defending ourselves against these zombies until we found that. Ah, uh, oh, God. Fucking damn it. Oh. Okay, I don't know what... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, I don't know how we slip past them. I, we're not even going to question it. We're just going to accept it as law. It's locked. Well, that's a load of old horse shit, isn't it? Right, get back to there. Come on. 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 Before the strange green zombie takes a chunk out of our ass. Can I say that that is not a zombie? Resident Evil 2. Now they are zombies. They are crazy cool zombies. Oh, I love those zombies. The zombies that we always thought we would never see. Proper zombies. And the destruction that you can cause them is, is something rather wonderful. Alright, here comes Mr. Green Man. Uh, this isn't actually what I was l looking for, but we can actually... We can actually end this zombie here. Come to me, you fucker. Beware! I have a chair. This chair shall be your undoing. Yeah, I don't know why a chair kills these green men in one hit, whereas a gunshot to the face doesn't. We're not going to think about it, because this game doesn't deserve that much thought put into it. But, yeah, it's, it's mm, odd. Should we say? So, we can go through there. Where the hell are the toilets? Locked. It's locked, and you can tell it's locked just by looking at the green sign above. Sure. Of course. Why, why, why not? I know somewhere there's a room. Or a corridor. Ah, ah, ah. This one. Right, follow me, you fucker. Into the female toilets, like a normal human would. Come on. Yes, okay. I remember this now. I think we can use this as many times as needed. And the weird thing about this, again, a quick broom to the bonce. Actually, okay, it's actually a female zombie. That's, that's fine. That kills the zombie in one hit. But a gun to the face doesn't. Again, the game doesn't warrant that much thought process going into it, so... Whatever. Cool, I guess. Now we know that we have that room, and we know roughly where it is, we can always run to that place. Now we just have to explore, and... The way the events are triggered in this game, we just have to hope. You found a pistol, but left it where it is. <sighs> See, Leon wouldn't have left the pistol there. Fuck, Leon wouldn't be in this situation without a pistol. Everything is normal here. What's that even mean? Like, everything's normal there. Well, there's no zombies in the drawer? Is there no cat turds? What, what, what is normal here? Because this is not normal. This whole place is not normal. Oh, that leads out behind here. Okay. Everything is normal here. Great dialogue, guys. Great stuff. Storytelling is expert level. I've never been so drawn in to a story. I, I know, Cloud. Don't look at me like that. I didn't make the game, Cloud. I'm sorry. The only thing we know... I guess... Oh, actually, if I remember, if we're bait, we can go in the male toilets. 
I don't know why Alyssa. I mean, you know, under these circumstances, I think it's fine, you know. But maybe we shouldn't be assuming her gender anyway, you know. Ooh. What do we have in here? Uh, I'm guessing we're having a whole load of nothing in here. Cool. Nothing's okay, I guess. Nothing's better than being dead, I think. So this is actually a dead-end room. Okay, that's not ideal, but... Oh! Ha-ha! Come with me, Mr. Night Stalker. I will be your undoing. Follow me, sir. Some rather snazzy PJs that gentleman's wearing. Respect. Now, did we go in there? I can't remember. I think we've been in all these rooms now. And I don't know if zombies respawn. Okay, I don't want to call them zombies, because that's like an insult. And yeah, again, we can use this again. I wanted to try that. Good to know. And my fat cat is opening the door. Come on! Ugh. Another zombie has met his untimely fate at the end of a broom. Yeah, yeah, again, don't, don't, don't think about it too hard. You'll just end up with a headache. Right, ow, guys. i got to close my door because my cat's a doofus. Yeah. And I can also use this opportunity to get my coffee. Mmm, much better. Ugh, can you imagine life without coffee? No, neither can I. It's just, it, it doesn't make sense in my head. Life without coffee. I think I'd rather be dead. Now, anyway, let's continue. So there's nothing else that's down here. Unless there is something in this room that was guarded by a zombie. <clears throat> See, that's another, like, fundamental problem with this game. Why is an unlimited supply of brooms more reliable defense than a handgun? Like, this man, this game. Ooh, there's, this is a bloody sink. I didn't notice that before. Blood! Yeah. Now the ambience has kicked in. Everything is normal here. Everything is normal there, but it's not normal on the sink. Ha. Huh. Well, alrighty then. Blood. Hope this isn't Chris's blood. Well, okay. I do like that little bit of ambient music when you discover something unnerving. That is pretty cool. Did we check this one? Just want to make sure that this place is totally empty. Let's turn the light on. The trouble is, as well, everything in this game, like every room almost, looks the same. And it's, it's kind of hard to work out where you've been and where you haven't been. My past. My cursed past. Wash it away, please. Uh, okay, I haven't seen that before. Excuse me, love. Can we have the light back on? If that is quite all right with you. I don't want to alarm you, my dear, but there are weird green men walking around with seemingly no explanation so far. We know there's some weird voodoo shit going on. You've discovered a pistol. Why can we take that pistol, but we couldn't take that handgun from... 
Again, we're not we're not gonna think about it. We're not gonna try and understand it, okay? I'm Cloud, I know. I get it, okay? I'm just as confused as you are. Now, that was worth going into. We have a pistol. A pistol that we can't actually use, I might add. That leads to the weird, like, bar area. We don't want to go to the weird bar area. Now. What's this way? That way was locked, wasn't it? Is it now magically open? I guess not. Locked. Yeah, we know it's locked, Alyssa. It's cool. It's cool. Everything's fine. It's probably dead. It's probably dead? Is it worth, you know, checking? No? No? Okay. Yeah, why would we want to be thorough? Being thorough is for suckers, right? That's... Where was that? I almost want to find as many zombies as, like, sorry, green men, as I can. Oh, it's another green man. Green woman in this case. Vossestas? George Maxwell? Maxwell. Now that is uh, a name from the original, I believe. So we've got anything in these lockers. I guess everything's normal here. <laughs> yep, I guess so. Of course. <sighs> cryptic game is cryptic. What's this? This mean everyone's panicked? Yeah, I guess that does mean everyone's panicked, but everyone's dead, Alyssa. They're all dead. They are. Some of them are dead and walking about. Ooh, terrifying stuff. I almost shit myself. What's happening here? How calm is she? There's like this, well, to be fair, I'd probably just be laughing anyway, but she's, <laughs> she's so calm. It just destroys any ambience there is. Like, a zombie gets up off the floor and grabs you. What is happening here? Come on, Mrs. Roboto. Let's take you to a fate worse than death. Or is it a fate worse than death? Let's be fair here. I guess we're going to free her soul. Yes, and we can. This definitely does seem like a reliable method of zombie execution. Next time I have one of my meetings with Chris, Leon, or Jill, or Claire, say, guys, you're doing it wrong, okay? You're doing it wrong. Put down the Samurai's Edge. Don't go near the shotgun. Forget about your rocket launcher, all right? I've got a little tip for you. What you need is a broom. Trust me, guys, it works 100% of the time. <sighs> you would have spanked Wesker's ass if you had a broom. Okay, so let's go back in here. So the room by the leather couch. Hmm. So she did actually leave a key. I thought I remembered that. But a key to where? Key to the closet. Ooh, are we going to come out of the closet? What? What closet key is that, though? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I found a closet key before. Ah, let's turn the light on. And let there be light. Alright, anything in here that we can search? No, looks like another empty, useless room. Oh, or is it? Search both of these. Look at all of these files. Uh, yep. It's not exactly unusual. Everything's normal here. Cool. 
Glad to see we are enjoying such rich plot development. I haven't even seen another living person yet. <sighs> or if we have, I can't even remember. I wonder why they didn't choose to put this on the PlayStation Mini. Hmm. I think they missed a trick. I mean, the launch lineup for the PlayStation Mini wasn't great anyway. I mean, it wasn't bad, but... Uh, oh. This way, gentlemen. This way. Don't make me wait now. Yeah, he's still coming. <sighs> Let's go hide in the toilets. Because that's the other thing. Once one of these motherfuckers starts following us, we can't actually hide. They will, like, just home in on you. Relentlessly. They're more efficient than the T-Virus zombies. So, they got that going for them, I suppose. If that's a good thing, you tell me. I don't know. I don't have all the answers, guys. But I know someone who does. Oh, it's another guy in his PJs. I can't believe how well this works. Like, ridiculously well, actually. I don't know why you Americans buy guns. I mean, for home defense. That just seems stupid. Just get yourself uh, a broom. Apparently it works wonders. Although I guess that would only work if your adversary is a strange robotic green thing. Humanoid, I guess. Probably wouldn't work against an actual human. That's just a guess, mind. So this... Is this the beginning? Yeah, this is the beginning corridor. Okay. Because this is, should be where we started. Much confusion. Wow. Yeah, this is where we started. Uh, did we search these? Like... I wouldn't say no to a medical kit. Ask and you shall receive. I swear I didn't know that was in there. Unless you can only find medical kits, like if you need them, I think. All right, let's have a look at this sink. Now nah, I'm pretty sure you, it doesn't well, work like that. everything seems normal. Because, uh, I think we found like a medikit in the first game, in the first bit, but we couldn't use it. And she said something like, I'll leave this just here. What do you put them in your inventory? I can't remember. I don't care enough, to be honest, to remember. Um, that is like, that's the same again. Is there a drawer in here that we can unlock? Zombies currently, let's turn the light on. Zombies currently aren't much of a threat. Considering we have that bullshit room where we can just run to each time. So, I mean, that's a thing. Everything seems normal here. Uh-huh. Your observation is amazing, Alyssa. Like 10 out of 10. Everything is normal here. I think when it silently uh, says everything is normal here, I th think that's where we can put the locket. But here's the thing. I don't know if we need to be bait to trigger anything. I don't know. And even when we, like turn into bait. I don't know how we can... I don't even know if there's a reliable way. Ah, the door is locked. I wonder if one of these works. Oh, it's storage key. 
Is this storage? I don't know if there's a reliable way to turn into into him. Uh, draw a key. I mean, it's not a draw, but fuck it. This game is so fucking whoa confusing. I ain't got a clue. No, I guess not. No response. So that's definitely dead. Okay, so we do need a key for that. Okay. I think we are making progress, guys. Is this storage? I mean, it's open, so... Oh, hello. A human. Don't shoot! I'm a human! Who the hell? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell so loud. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Uh -huh. I'm just a newspaper reporter. Mm -hmm. Newspaper reporter? I'm Doug Bowman. Pleasure's mine. Doug Bowman. Oof, is a name. I'm going to poke around a bit more. <laughs> I bet you are. Poke around? Mm-hmm. Don't you know? There's a big story here. A whole lot bigger than I thought. You See ya. Green men. <laughs> See ya. See him just like saunter out the door, like no fucks given. Just leave this like young girl to fend for herself. You know, who gives a shit at the end of the day? All right, let's have a little look. I guess there's something here to search. Is there a door there? There is not a door there. Here it is again, George Maxwell. Who is George Maxwell? I don't know. I have literally no idea. Is it? Like, I kind of vaguely remember there being a gun here or something. Yeah, pistol, but leave it where it is. Alright, so, I mean, like, is that progress? Has that, like, unlocked something somewhere? I don't know. So, hmm. Hmm. Don't know where. Where else we can go? Because there's nothing in there. That's where we started. That's the no. Yeah, that's the hallway with the computer rooms and everything. That was where the woman was on the floor, I think. Let's go down the elevator. I haven't found anywhere that, we're, uh, that we can use a key. We're almost a half an hour anyway. Okay, I've actually like enjoyed this uh, episode a little bit. By a little bit, I mean, yeah, quite a, quite a bit, actually. See, now the enemies aren't as infuriatingly invincible. Like, stupidly invincible. Um, the game is somewhat entertaining. Is ent no, entertaining is not the right word. Let, let's, not, let's not go crazy. The game is tolerable. Ooh. Okay, let's just lead this zomb... This zombie to his death. I'm assuming he's going to follow us all the way down. But, like, why would you make the zombies, like, so hard and, like, utterly resistant to bullets? But then just have, like, this zombie kill zone down here. Is that part of the trial and error? Or was the toilet this way? Or was it that way? I can you remember. I hope it's this way. Yeah, so it's this way. Now, the fact that there's a zombie back up there, and I'm pretty sure we went up there earlier, that leads me to think that possibly we're going in the right direction. Unless, unless this game throws another curveball at you. Maybe it puts enemies uh, in places you're not supposed to go. 
because this game says fuck you to logic everywhere else. <laughs> oh, it's so good. That's so good. I love it. All right. Okay. So we're making a little bit of progress in the uh, scary monster cage. Or noisy monster cage. The level name doesn't even make sense. Does it don't, don't even make sense. Noisy monster cage. Does it even matter that the levels don't make sense? Do we even care? Like, that's what we need to be asking ourselves. Now, when you're constantly playing a game and you're constantly asking yourself, do you even care? <sighs> I, I've i just worked out how to explain this game. It's gone from a frustrating, like, mess to teetering on that point of it's so bad it's good. Yeah. I think that's where it's at. Oh. Hello. Strange man. Have we met him before? I can't remember. Uh, possibly? Let's drop a save anyway, guys. Yeah, because we're at half an hour now. What we're going to do, drop the save. When we come back, we're going to talk to this gentleman and uh, see what the fuck's going on. I don't know who that is. <sighs> Actually reminds me of someone. Ah. Reminds me of that guy from Shemu 2. Uh, Shemu 1. I can't remember his name now. Um, Master Chen's son. Hmm. Except, nowhere near as cool. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this game has kind of redeemed itself a little bit. I don't feel I'm at that point now where I just want to smash everything and give up. So... That's a good thing. Although maybe it's because I'm still excited and, and, and still on the high of Resident Evil 2. So guys, till next time. Thanks for watching.